Zyklen. Und very soon in this very room, I will be doing a lecture on <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. I'm uh, calling it a working hypothesis. This is a version, a new version of Sherlock Holmes. So it takes the kind of Arthur Conan Doyle stories up to the point of the Reichenbach Falls and then we make a new narrative from there on in. So it's not an adaptation of one story, so it's not like a version of The Hand of the Baskervilles or a version of A Study in Scarlet. And it's set in the 1960s. So we aren't in Victoriana, Arthur Conan Doyle territory, but we're not in Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, iPhones and, you know, 21st century territory either. Let me show you how to go. This is one end of the room. It's not an ideal lecture room, but it will offer creative challenges. Let me show you the other end of the room. <coughs> this is the other end of the room. So the audience are invited to a lecture. A lecture by an eminent professor a German professor of criminology called Professor Silhum Sökler. You, as the audience, find yourself amongst the action. Um, it takes place here in this beautiful room, which is the council chamber of uh, the city of York, and it happens in real time, which I think is quite unusual for a home story. You, you as an audience member, are here in the room um, being engaged with as, as the adventure pans out before your eyes. You may be asking yourself, what is criminology? Where's my pencil? So, I hope you can make it to the lecture. It will be informative, educational, and you will learn so much that there is to know about the really very remarkable Sherlock Holmes. May he rest in peace. We have three characters in this, so we've reduced it down to something that's very, uh, well, it's very, very funny and very lively. It was also quite intense between these three people. So we have Sherlock Holmes, we have Dr. John Watson, and we have Professor Moriarty. In the piece, Sherlock is going through, I think it's fair to say, a bit of a crisis of him as an individual. Mm. Um, so yes, we have a Sherlock Holmes traditional uh, mystery and an adventure to be uh, solved, but we also, have, um, we also see Sherlock going through a process of having to decide who he wants to be. Who is Sherlock Holmes? What does he want to be? How does he want to be remembered?